What's going on guys? We're at the first property of the day today. It's a little rainy out, which is always good for us washers. Um, we're gonna be hitting the front of this property, or this, this side of the property. You can see that. And we'll also be hitting top of the property there and just this whole side. Um, but yeah guys, pretty typical wash for me. It'll be a quick and easy one, nice and wet outside today, so that helps. And um, yeah, looking forward to getting this thing taken care of. It's actually the only wash I have today. And I just closed him on the spot. So that's what's up. Got a water tank filling right now. It's actually pretty much done. So I'm going to take that out now. Set my camera down there. Put on my gloves. Keep your hose. If you guys are not using quick connects on your hoses, I highly suggest it. Uh, I'm in this really awkward right now. What the hell? Quick and easy. And now we are ready to wash down the stuff. Get everything all nice and saturated. Even though it is raining, still of course want to wet your property. So that's what I'm gonna be doing in this clip. I'll just keep the camera rolling. We're doing the stuff. You know the rules, one take. Yeah. Just set that back there. Hell yeah, that's what's up. Step one, water the property. It's raining, but I still like to do it anyways. We're gonna get into washing this thing up. Awesome guys, yeah, just, you know, typical 12 volt pump issues. I'm getting rid of this thing as soon as possible, dude. Look at this. Not priming, finger on the trigger, nothing. We're starting to get something. A little drip. Come on, bro, what the fuck is that? What's going on? Yeah, I gotta, I gotta do some work. This is bad. Uh, it's supposed to be. That's what happens with the quick and easy ones. Something bad always happens. All right, guys, I gotta, I gotta fix this, please. All right, guys, so I'm currently driving right now. I, I, I don't remember the last part I left off in the, in the previous video, but um, so essentially, what happened was my metering valves cracked. Like both my my surfactant metering valve and my uh, water metering valve cracked. Usually, I don't have the surface cleaner here. But I was just in a rush this morning, so I didn't uh, bungee it to my the back of my trailer. As you can see, I got a little pad there in the back. That's usually where I stand it up. But anyways, um. Essentially what happened was those metering valves cracked and I had to replace them. So I called up my boy over at Washworks, uh, Anthony. He's always, you know, getting me right with stuff, man. I can call him up and he knows exactly what to do. I called him um, and told him what was happening. He's like, yeah, sounds like an air leak. Because like I had no water or anything coming out of my, uh, coming out of my, my hose. And that was the first time that's ever happened. And I think that just this morning driving around, it must've cracked like crazy because I literally washed a property yesterday. I washed three properties yesterday. Um, so... Yeah, I'm going to show a video of the new metering valves. They are a lot better. I will say I cheaped out the first time that I purchased this when I was first building my setup because um, I literally, you know, was was just trying to get off the ground. You don't need, that's something that I'm really happy I did actually because you don't need um, like all this top of the line crazy equipment to get started, guys. Like those three metering valves cost me 90 bucks for three of them and they lasted me this long and I've done more than five figures in revenue and profit um, in my first month and like... So getting getting off the ground, getting started, you don't need like this crazy equipment, guys. Like you don't need a soft wash. You don't need a southeast soft wash trailer build with all this crazy equipment. Yeah, it's 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 gonna be worth it to get that because you don't you won't have to replace it in the future. But if you're just starting off, like I personally don't think you need to go that route. Um, just get the stuff that's you know gonna get you by in your first. I, I think I've done like 20 jobs now. Um, maybe more, maybe less. I don't know. I don't really keep track of it, bro. I just or I mean I do keep track of it, but I don't even look at those numbers. Like I'm just washing, collecting cash, putting in my CRM, which I'll be doing a breakdown video soon. Um, on how to set up the best CRM for power washing. Not none of this house call pro crap. We use Go High Level, High Level CRM, integrated everything into one. SMS, email, Facebook Messenger, Instagram, everything is all integrated in my stuff. I pay 99 bucks a month, like you can't beat that. Um, I get a separate phone number. I'm gonna be doing a whole breakdown, but um, <clears throat> so I don't know, I'm just kind of going off on a tangent now, but I'll show you guys what the new metering valves look like uh, once I get to my next destination, which is a uh, house wash and window wash quote. Um, I haven't even washed windows yet, guys. Yeah, I haven't washed windows. But guess what? I'm going to learn on YouTube how to do it. I've got a squeegee and one of those, you know, washers, double-sided double things uh, on the back of my trailer. I've been waiting to use it. 
you know, if they ask me if I wash windows, yes, I wash windows, okay? I haven't done it before. I'm just learning off YouTube, man. YouTube University, that's what I call that. Um, so, and that's another reason, you know, I just love YouTube. So, <laughs> I don't know, I'm kind of going off and off now. Um, but, yeah, guys, that's the update on that job. I think it cost me about $400 to get that stuff uh, fixed and replaced, you know, with labor and parts. And the job I was at this morning to do it was a $350 wash. So, I'm literally going to go back there and do it today still. Um, the client really wasn't, I showed him the cracks in my stuff and he's like, oh man, that sucks. Um, so yeah, guys, I will be, um, updating you on the next property. I don't know exactly how much I'm going to be vlogging. Like I try and do, do these videos, but it's, I kind of forget sometimes and I, and I just have so much going on, man. I got like last night I literally sent out, oh, I'm in the wrong lane. Last night I literally sent out, um, like eight quotes, um, like seven or eight quotes at like 1am. I don't know, man, maybe the people will respect the grind, but dude, I'm just, I'm just so much work straight ripping right all right guys we just arrived to the destination i just got done walking around with the client gave her the rundown i should have recorded or something but i don't, I don't really like doing that um but yeah so we were called out here just some uh build up there but the main thing is backside of this property so got some growth here along the windows on there main thing is the roof or the gutters sorry um and yeah it's pretty bad back here you can literally see it on the walls everything yeah, beauty shot right there. It's got some stuff here on the stones. I'm not sure if they want those washed. You know, I always like to set the expectations with the customer and give them, you know, it's, it's all about education, right? So just give them the rundown, man. Tell them the difference between power washing, soft washing, and everything you, you know, you know about the business. This lady had no clue what soft washing even was. And um, I told her like, what did you think that this was gonna be like a hundred, two hundred dollar job? And she's like, yeah, honestly, I thought it was gonna be like 150 bucks, no. You know, I've got time, money, solutions, all that stuff. And you know, not everyone in the, in the area can do this stuff. So um, you know, I'm, I'm a specialized washer in this area, I would say. At least that's how I position myself as when I'm talking to the client. But um, yeah, guys, I want to show you this real quick too. So this is my new proportioner system. Metering valves, oh yeah. Oh yeah, we are cooking, boys. We are cooking with this. Got that upgrade on the quick wash work supply. Schaumburg, Illinois, they got that stuff down, man. Anthony hooked me up real quick. It's not like my old ones. For the, for the three on my old ones, those things were about um, $90 for all three. These were about $90 a piece. Um, and, you know, like I said in the video, um, you, know, you really don't need to start out with all the crazy equipment. I got my stuff done and squared away. I built that mixing block, proportioner system, all that stuff. Uh, was probably only about like, <clears throat> I don't even know. I have to look at my Excel sheet, but it was a cheap build out that I did just to get off the ground and get running. I, like I said, I literally made more than 10 grand with it in the last 30 days. Um, and now I'm upgrading my systems and that's how it should be. You don't need to start out with a crazy big insane setup. I know I'm repeating myself, but, um, yeah, guys. So that's the property we just walked and, um, onto the next one in the same neighborhood. That's what you guys got to do and quit driving around one neighborhood to the next to the next line it up, get your calendar, right? Save your gas, save your time, everything. See you in the next one. Peace. Pretty guys. And we are at property number four of the day. Let's go. So this, oh shit, look at the next door neighbors. They got some nice patio steps, but, um, yeah. So this guy actually inquired on my ads um as i was at another property in the same location in the same city it's pretty crazy how that works right um but yeah so i'm pretty much just here to give them a quote on a full property wash and um uh, yeah guys that's that i don't want to take up too much time so i got another one to go but yep thanks oh uh, yeah guys so we're we're out here i got a nice little patio here it says to watch off the dog poop but um yeah as you can tell that needs washing um but yeah he does want me to get all the property so i just called out here he's got some stuff on the gutters there definitely something i can remove I wish he was here right now. It was on the fly though. Like I said, he inquired and I was already in this city. So I told him I could stop by. I said he was gonna be here pretty soon, but not sure exactly. So we'll see. I usually require all my clients to be here when I'm giving quotes, but yeah. Yeah, so I think I messed up on the last one. I said I was on quote number four of the day. It was actually quote number five. Um, I don't know why I just remembered that. I was like counting all the quotes in my head and then I'm about to go to number six though. I'm about to go to number six, guys. It's just a grind, y'all. That's what we do. Like, I love this. I love putting in work. I used to run a marketing agency, guys. And I, I would sit at home all day and I would take phone calls and I would take sales calls and talk to clients, long-term clients, short-term clients. Like, man, dude, I just love driving around, giving quotes, doing work. Obviously not just giving quotes, guys. Obviously not just giving quotes. Doing the work, obviously. Just being hands-on in the field, man. It's just like, it's just different. Making money online is cool. I've done a lot of online ventures. Um, I, I don't even know why I'm getting into that, but honestly, I just really love doing this type of work being hands-on like honestly everything about this business is just perfect for me and um, I'm just excited to see, you know where this is going and um, literally this week I've today's Thursday I sent out about 
12, 13, 14,000 dollars worth of quotes, depending on what the people go with, uh, for this week. So things are definitely ramping up. Um, some of those quotes, the reason I say 12, 13, 14,000 is because people ask me to quote them for like two things or like multiple different services. So like a quote for just washing the fence versus the quote for washing, uh, staining and sealing the fence. So like, you know, that's a thousand dollar difference right there. Um, so I had like three of those that I, that I did. And, um, yeah, it's just, sorry, I'm looking at the road, you know, trying to record this video and also keep my eyes on the road. Um, but yeah, I'm just really loving this process. I'm trying to keep up with the YouTube channel at the same time, guys. I just be blowing up my business way too quick. I'm, I'm gonna, I know I keep talking about, you know, my business and I'm gonna show you guys how to do this, okay? Like, I wanna see everyone winning with their power washing business, soft washing business. And um, between setting up a CRM and getting the business, which is the biggest part, you could be the best house washer in the world. If you don't know how to market yourself and market your business and your brand, it doesn't mean anything of how good of a house, oh, I can wash your house in 30 minutes. Dude, who cares? Like, I don't know, there's a bunch of people in Facebook groups and stuff talking. I don't even know where I'm going. Sometimes I just go on these rants and these videos and I just, I just can't, you know, I'm just all about doing the right thing, doing the right business, doing right by people, giving out fair quotes and just doing good in this world, guys. I mean, the more good you do, the, the, the more good you get in return, okay? It's pretty simple. Um, and that's the way I operate my business and my lifestyle. Hey guys, and that is how it is done. Uh, just got to the sixth and final quote of the day. And guess what? We closed her on the spot and scheduled the wash on the spot, guys. That is what you need to do, okay? You need to be closing, and there it is right now. Wait, we're about, yep, there it is, that brick one, yep. You need to be closing these. You need to be at least trying to close and uh, schedule this stuff on the spot, okay? At least that's how I do it. Like, that wash, just now I closed for $650 on the spot, and um, she will, she, she had no, like, she's like, all right, yeah, great. Like, maybe I could have got more, maybe I, dude, don't dwell on that, man. Just like, just do your, like, I'm happy with 650, bro. Like, that's a two hour wash. That's $325 in uh, per hour. Like, I'll do that all day, every day. I'll do four of those a day. All right, guys, so, don't get too hung up on, oh, I need to, I need it to do this. I need it for this, you know, or I need my minimum. Like, bro, just give fair prices. Like, that's, I talk about that all the time, but it's so true. So true. All right, guys. So uh, I forgot to record a little intro to the, the next clip, but essentially what was, uh, what went down is I pretty much finished the day closing that last property, scheduled it out for next week. And then um, I had to get with, um, you know, my side to, sorry, I'm like looking at my cat right now. Look what she just did. Anyways, um, the next clip, I'm at a property and essentially I had to go back there, which was the first property I was at uh, in the beginning of the video. So I went back there today, which is when I'm recording this video now and um, took care of that wash. So that's what the next clip is. Just gonna close it out. I've got the water going right now. So this is something I usually do. Like the setup is, there's like bushes or something like this, right underneath where I'm washing. I will um, just set this, set this up to just keep it, keep it wet on center my other stuff. That way, you know, we're as safe as possible. It is very, very windy and cold out today, but we gotta get that job done. So that's what we're doing. And um, I've got my tripod, so I want to make a video of the wash, but yeah, guys, I'll uh, take some before and afters and we'll see you on the other side. All right, guys, it's literally insanely windy out here. Like, I'm worried I'm gonna, I'm worried I'm gonna get the, the SH into their backyard as I'm shooting it. So pretty much what I did is I set up this, so that way we're just soaking the entire back area while washing. Um, they are selling this house, so he told me, and so obviously I don't want to kill all the grass in their backyard right before they sell it. Um, so I'm just doing everything in my power right now to just make sure everything is wet, um, because this wind is insane today. Like, it's like 20, I don't, I don't know how many miles per hour, I'm not a year old, so this is like 20, 30 mile per hour winds, it feels like, dude, you can wash in the rain, you can wash when it's cold, and the coldness kind of affects the, how the, how the SH dwells, but pretty much wash in any condition. Wind is the worst, so, yeah, I got that little setup going. Yeah, guys, we're gonna tackle this, all this, whole wall, and the front wall as well. Peace. Right, guys, I'm almost done here. Just, uh, Grab this off a little bit. There's a little extra. There we go. I don't know. I just want to record that. Alrighty, guys, and here's the property. Finished product. Nice and clean. That's what we do over here. This spot was the worst. It got taken care of. There was some paint issues. That's not organic growth. But um, yeah, everything on this property came out really nice. Uh, and yeah, guys, so here's the before photo. Uh, I think this is another before photo, yep. And then, um, I don't know, that's another one. But yeah, just like to end these videos off with some before and after pics. So there's the after, there's another after. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching and uh, subscribing.